breaking news, Frank Martin came out explaining why. He turned down the Shakur Stevenson fight for the WBC title eliminator. The reason, according to Frank, is that he wanted more money, just like Shakur wanted more money to fight Devin Haney. Here is exactly what Frank Martin had to say. Check it out. So, but on my end, verbally, I agree, you know, got a call, asked me what I thought about the fight, you know, it's for the WBC and all that. Mm -hmm. I agree to it, you know, I'm like, it's a it's a green light, you know what I mean? So after that, you know, me agreeing to it, I ain't never know what the money was, I ain't know none of that, you know? Mm -hmm. So what happened was, once everything came about, I figured out what that money was and I wasn't cool with it, you know what I mean? I wanted more. So that's what, that's why the fight didn't fall through, because it was, it was all, every, everything, I, I agreed to everything. You know what I mean? As far as the stipulations, everything, you know, from it being on ESPN to, you know, the 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 where it was going to be at. Like, they were saying it could have been in Vegas or it could have been where, where dude from. I agree with everything. You know, the only thing I agree with was that money. Okay. So, when they first came out with the news that there was an agreement between both camps, at that point, the money had not been discussed. It was just the, the intangibles, the, the place, the venue uh the weight that kind of thing there hadn't been any monetary discussions so the fight was agreed upon that you were going to fight shakur but you guys had not sat down and done any numbers yeah they could have just gave me what i asked for you know what i mean and it wasn't even nothing crazy and then the fight could have happened it, it was that simple for the magnitude of that fight you know what i asked for wasn't it wasn't you know nothing that they couldn't have gave me you feel me like everybody wanted to fight you exactly. know, and, and that's in the fight would have happened. So him going around telling people that you were asking for 50-50 is a lie. Man, that's that's cat. And then the, the clear the air on this too. You got you got I said something in the interview everybody posted up. I was like, every top dog gotta be an underdog, right? Check this. This situation, this is for a vacant title. This is a vacant title. And then you got a situation i was offered a, a situation for a vacant title for a million dollars he was off, offered a situation for uh undisputed and eight million dollars so come on now come on now that's too I man i would have jumped on that undisputed i would have i would have jumped on it jumped on it it wouldn't have been nothing we we banging out it's up you know i would have jumped on that opportunity that's the type of opportunity that I was talking about, why everybody was trying to run it back when I was talking about every top dog. He, this man ain't even no top dog. You feel me? And I believe that Devin Haney, what Devin Haney did, he went out there, he went over there, uh, fought Cambosas, and he took those belts. He took everything that was in the contract that he had to do, beat him, went back out there. You know, he he deserves to call the shots how he calling the shots, you know, because he got all the belts. You know, right. come on, they got they got him trying to call out shots. He ain't even got a bill. That's my thing. Don't even I, got say, a bill. I say it all the time. And then and then and then he feel like and then the fans want to say for him, oh oh, uh, Devin Haney should have gave him fifty fifty or 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 more money, bro. Devin Haney had to get it all the way out the mud. You know what I mean? He went and got those belts. He went and took every right. er, 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 er stipulation that was in that contract. He went and did that. You know what I mean, bro? You gotta. Mother gotta respect that man, and if if he puts something in a contract, you got you gotta. That's what you gotta go by to go right. get those belts. Cause right. he had to do it, so you gotta do it. Right. But how 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 can you feel entitled that you need you you get fifty fifty, and when he got his belts, he got a low ass percentage to go get them belts. Come on now. They asked me the question. They was like, "What you would have did if you would have got that you know opportunity?" Right. You feel me? Right. Come on now. That's undisputed. Right. You feel me? That's why I say every top dog got to be, you know, in those type of situations. Like, I I understand what he had to go through to get those belts. So what makes you think he going to let somebody else come get them easier than, I mean, easy. You know, when he had to take these stipulations, go to, go to a whole nother man country and go fight him twice there. And, you know, like, even the level of competition he fighting. Come on, bro. Ain't nobody just going to get these belts up. And I didn't really, he, he didn't win and got it out the mud. You know what I mean? You think I'm just going to. Give you these belts and we finna go 50-50? Come on now. What happened with the situation as far as the purse bid? So mm -hmm. the purse bid was turned down. All right. I guess, yeah, I guess the, the, the purse bid got turned down and then 
that's when it was uh like it became a flat fee i guess like a flat you know a flat number okay so you were in when when the when the purse bid when when you guys made the agreement you were under the impression or i'm because i don't know so i'm asking because i was under the impression I i was under the impression that it was gonna be like a split you know a split or whatever and then a percentage you know, split. A percentage split, yeah. Okay. And then uh uh it was told to me that it wasn't gonna be no percentage split because I probably wouldn't have got as much as you know for I wouldn't have got that image if it went into a percentage split. Now I'm gonna leave a link for the full interview in the description box below. So you guys heard it from the horse's mouth. Frank Martin revealed he turned down the Shakur Stevenson fight because he was requesting a little bit more money. Frank said he wanted the fight, but because top rank did not give him the money he was asking for, which from what I'm hearing is around 1.5 million to 2 million is the number Frank was trying to negotiate. However, Shakur and top rank quickly moved on since they already had came to an agreement. Therefore, the million dollar question a lot of people have been asking, why will Frank Martin actually agree to fight Shakur and then pull out? Frank Martin revealed he did that in order to get out of the purse bid. Frank Martin explained if the fight went to purse bid, then his purse wouldn't have been nice. Basically, he would have risked his purse to be worse, depending on what the bids would have been. Due to Shakura and Frank Martin previous salaries ratio, Frank Martin would have been lucky to get an 80-20 split. Even then, if top rank bids 5 million on the fight, Shakura is going to end up with 4 million, while Frank Martin is still going to end up with 1 million. That's why the purse bid wasn't the way to go for Frank Martin to make more money. More importantly, Frank Martin revealed when the purse bid got canceled because they reached an agreement, they didn't agree on the money, only the network, the location, the date, so on and so forth. If that's true, that will explain why the purse bid was canceled because Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin reached an agreement. Top rank could have struck the deal like that in order to avoid the purse bid, which is more beneficial to both sides, top rank side and Frank Martin side so the reason why Frank Martin didn't sign the contract when Shakur sent him one. According to Frank Martin, they never agreed on the money. Frank Martin never agreed to fight Shakur for one million. The only thing he agreed to was the location, the date, and the network. So when Shakur sent him a contract, Frank Martin was trying to negotiate more money. However, he didn't have time because the ball was in top rank court. It was a take or leave a type of deal since Shakur is the A side. So there's a lot of confusion there. Frank even said he wasn't part of the negotiations. Why wasn't he? Especially when Frank Martin confirmed he's solid with his team. He don't know what the rumor is talking about. So why wasn't Frank Martin a part of the negotiations? That's odd to me. Either way, Frank Martin should have had taken this fight because it was an opportunity to fight for a belt and fight Shakur. If Frank beats Shakur, guess what? He will be the man. And out of that one, he could end up getting a Javante fight. With that being said, Frank Martin confirmed that he did not turn down the Shakur Stevenson fight because of a Javante fight or anything of that sort. Absolutely not. But he hit Shakur with that. I did what you did, big dog, on a lower scale. Shakur turned down Devin Haney undisputed fight because he wanted more money. Frank said, you turned down undisputed, a bigger opportunity because you wanted more money. I wanted more money for a vacant belt. So out of all of the people, Shakur should have been really understanding of why Frank Martin turned down the fight with him. Due to that, Frank Martin was questioning Shakur Stevenson energy toward him, calling him out of his name but not calling Lomachenko out of his name, the biggest P and B in the world. Frank said Shakur only seemed to do that to brothers. So go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
you have to say about the things that he had to say about you? It's some bitch ass shit, you know, it's some hoe shit. Like, nigga, we we grown men, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, like we could have we could have easily made everything happen, but like the shit he talking, you make this shit personal, you know, calling another man a bitch and this and that. Like, I ain't even cut like that, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna go on wax and, and mess my fuck my brand up because I'm out here, you know, talking crazy and this and that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro, we we men, bro. And then you got you got two. Two of us. You got two, two, two brothers, right? And, and, and they and and bashing each other. Come on, bro. You ain't even bashing them other. You ain't even bashing them other other folks like that. You feel me? You know we love to tear. We love to tear each other down. You know what I mean? So. Well, he's it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh oh. He is because Shakur ain't gonna take that twenty five, is it? Like I say, I said, I say, let him give me that opportunity. You post to, especially in Shakur position. The table's gonna medical. turn. Yeah, because once you whoop him and get the four belts, baby, you undisputed. Then you do what you do. Exactly. Plus, with him, that's a Hall of Fame credentials. Two time, two division champ. Then you beat yeah. if you yeah, think you like can whoop him. That little per taking that percentage is lower. But he had to do it. Yeah, everybody got to be. Everybody every top it. dog got to be an underdog. Exactly. You know, exactly. Especially if you think you can whoop him. You don't get it. You don't get it.